Guyana is at the start of a new phase in its economic growth. It has always had bountiful natural assets. And now, its offshore resources will drive the country's industrial expansion. The energy sector is predicting a demand growth of up to 30% in the coming years. But sustainable development needs a reliable source of energy to power the engines of industry. We are competitive in every single area except energy. We have a project that can help us to bring our energy costs at the most competitive rate. Ensure that we have a stable and reliable supply of energy. Almost 200 kilometers offshore is a source of energy. It's a source that can bridge the gap between Guyana's energy past and a cleaner, brighter energy future. The Gas Ashore project will help us to bring down the cost of energy by 50%. It will help us to ensure that we have the right base load to support the manufacturing and industrial sector. It will help us to ensure that we can build other industries. What this leads to, more jobs, high income, and greater prosperity for the people of our country. Guyana is already benefiting from the export of crude oil from the Lisa field, but the reservoirs also contain gas. Wells, flow lines, and risers bring oil from the reservoir to the surface mixed with gas and water. The gas is separated and some is used to power the floating production, storage and offloading vessels, or FPSO. The rest of the gas is re-injected into the reservoir to maximize oil recovery. But to support the government of Guyana's sustainable development plans, some 50 million cubic feet a day of this gas would be sent from the FPSOs to shore via new export risers and an offshore pipeline. The process of riser installation and pipeline is highly automated using a state-of-the-art offshore installation vessel. The pipe is continuously lowered to the seabed from a ship for its 200-kilometer route. For the last 50 kilometers, the pipe will be buried. Where the pipeline comes ashore, a horizontal directional drilling or HDD technique will be used to insert the pipe under the seawall. The same technique will also be used at any major road or water crossings. The pipeline will be buried in a trench for its 27-kilometer journey inland, following a route that maximizes the use of state-owned land and minimizes the impact to communities. The ground is first leveled, and pipe sections are strung and welded together along the route. A trench is excavated alongside the welded pipe string and pipe laying machines lower the pipe into place. The trench is backfilled and the site is restored to its original condition. The pipeline system, offshore and onshore, will not be visible to the public. The pipeline terminates within the Wales planning area, which the government has selected for a new industrial development a new materials offloading facility will be used to offload the major equipment required to build a natural gas plant at the pipeline termination point. This plant will process the raw gas into multiple sources of energy. The gas can be used for many different purposes. The main one is power. So the lighter ends of the gas, methane and ethane, are usually used to fire turbines and therefore generate electricity. By using natural gas to fuel the power station, we'll be displacing heavy fuel oil. The emissions from natural gas are somewhere around half of those that are from heavy fuel oil. So a significant benefit to the environment. You can also use gas to feed factories. So for example, a glass making factory, a fertilizing making factory, could be powered with this gas. The heavier liquid parts of the gas are actually used for the domestic market, uh, as in the gas that we use to cook with, as well as powering other industries. 
using propane or butane extracted from the gas would improve health and cut by nearly 20% the greenhouse gas is emitted when kerosene is burnt for cooking. A reliable baseline power source will also allow renewable energy to develop and play an integral and secure part in the energy mix. In time, associated energy industries can develop to provide valuable products from Guyana's gas, such as fertilizers, biofuels and hydrogen. When we do the fertilizer plant and you have cheaper cost of fertilizer, who benefit? The farmers, the ordinary people, every Guyanese. Guyana could potentially generate excess electricity that could import to neighboring countries, continuing to position Guyana as an energy hub. And so by reducing the cost of energy, we really give a boost to all business to improve their competitiveness, particularly internationally. It is a strategy to ensure that the people of this country benefit from low energy costs, to ensure that we have a sustainable and efficient supply of energy. It is going to open up new opportunities and make available new prospects for greater prosperity for the people of this country. This integrated power system could improve the lives of all Guyanese, may enable Guyana to become a net energy exporter by supplying excess electricity and natural gas liquids to neighboring countries, and become a vital energy hub for the wider region.